Recorded Books and R.B. Digital present Letter Buck George Fletcher, The People's Champion by Vonda Michaud Nelson Illustrated by Gordon C. James Read by Kevin R. Free George had to buck up and get tough at an early age. He was just about ten years old around the turn of the century when his family packed up and lit out from Kansas on the Oregon Trail. They had folks in Pendleton, so it seemed as good a settling place as any. But there weren't many black people in eastern Oregon, and most whites in Pendleton didn't cotton to them. George suffered meanness and hurt because of his skin color. Life at home was no bushel of peaches either. He had to make his own way. George found a kinship with the children he'd come to know from the Umatilla Indian Reservation, where members of the Walla Walla, the Cayuse, and the Umatilla tribes lived. George was so good-natured, they found him easy to like back. He started bunking with the families of his Indian friends. George took to their ways like a wet kitten to a warm brick. As they played together, he learned their languages and how they saw the world. George's favorite game was riding a make-believe bronco. One boy straddled a barrel while others pulled cables attached to make it buck. George wrapped his legs tight around the imaginary horse and clenched his knees. It was plain as the ears on a mule he was born to ride. George was purely tickled when he moved up to riding beef calves. But when his hip pockets first landed on a horse, he was smitten. He got thrown a lot at first, but just kept getting back on. Every day George marveled more at these magnificent animals. He was spellbound by the drumming of hooves beneath him, the swirling and swaying, the rocking and reeling, his dance with a wild mustang. This was where he belonged. George watched the tribal horsemen and listened well. From them, he learned to train horses in a calm and gentle way. He never pushed. Took it slow talking soft, touching easy all over, gaining trust. He blew lightly into their nostrils so they could breathe him in. With his tender manner, George could tame a horse without breaking what he loved so much, its spirit. Sample complete. Ready to continue?